a talented actor and a funny young man, currently starring in the TV show Getting Personal, which has a season premiere September 11th on Fox. Please welcome John Cryer. <laughs> Look like a mime. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm going for the mime look. This actually, this haircut is new, kind of that uh, Caesar thing. Yes, it's sort of a Caesar as a mime Caesar sort as of a thing. Mime. Actually, and with the, the little heart pendant, it's Caesar as gay mime. Caesar basically. as gay mime. <laughs> now, what, what is the heart pendant? Uh, this is actually a gift from my girlfriend. So I, oh. I aww, it's so sweet. She gave it to me, um, and now you know it does. It's you know. Causes people to question my sexuality, it, it, which is fine. Um, yeah. Like my best friend, when he sits next to me on the subway, he, he's scared. You know, he's scared that people think he's the straighter-looking one. You know, oh, I <laughs> so it, I, it I, looks like it's too tight. Are you choking? No, I am not actually. No, it's fine. Is it rubber or something? Or it's no, it, it's leather. It's oh, it's leather. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, Jay. Uh, yeah. You, you see that game? The other yeah, day? How about oh, that game? Oh, it's a good game. When the tiger's getting out of the cellar, huh? Uh, you see that Frank Langella and Lolita last night? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, you're just back from the East Coast, right? I am, in visiting? fact. Yeah. Yes, actually, I was, I was back there. The East Coast! Hey, Mom! Way to go, yes. I, my, my girlfriend had met my mom before, yeah. but, but this was like a vacation with my mom. Oh, vacation with so, mom. So, yeah. A, that sounds serious. It, well, yeah, it is. It is. This is a, this is a great girl. I'm How long have you been going with this girl? For six months now. Seven months. Actually. Six, seven months. Seven <laughs> yes. months. So, so, so it looks like it may, may blossom. Yeah, out. it's pretty great. And she was, uh, she was very nervous about hanging with my mother. She said, no, I'll, I'll be fine as long as she doesn't laugh or make any sudden movements. <laughs> and so, I was like, okay, that'll now, be how fine. How is your mom with her? Is your mom protective? Uh, yeah, my mom's protective of me, you know, and, and, uh, but no, they get along great. My mom's a sweetie. You she know? worried about yeah. you being serious with this guy? Yeah, well, no, she's not worried about it. I mean, you know, obviously when I'm wearing the heart pendant, she's glad I'm with the girl, you right. know. <laughs> <laughs> she's thrilled. Mm. <laughs> but anyway. Now, are you, are you worried about it? Am I worried about... Yeah, see, that's where you, you're secure in your manhood. I'm very secure. In are you a secure anyway. guy? I mean, are you like a, a therapy uh, guy? Are you a secure guy? I am actually... Well, I've had bits and I, I... Last year, I, I produced a movie that uh, I wrote with a, a friend of mine, a guy named Richard Shankman, and we... Um, and I got so stressed yeah. during the thing. I was just... I was a nervous wreck during the whole shooting. And then afterwards, um, I got in this really bad relationship with this other girl, and, and, oh. and then I... And then, uh, you know, and then I was, I just got this great gig of doing a, an Eddie Murphy movie uh, uh, with Jeff Goldblum and everything. I was very excited about it. And so I decided, now, well, I should, I, I'm too stressed. I should, I should go into therapy. But the problem is, I travel all over. Right. You know how it is. And, and so I'm never in the same place to have the actual session. So right. what I, so I do is I, I page my, my therapist named Deborah, and she calls me back and says, hi, this is Deborah. And you do and, it on the phone. And we do it on the phone, oh. you know. Um, and I had been going, I had been really stressed out because I'd been making all these plans with the production office on the Eddie Murphy movie to be, for my travel and everything. And I paged her and I really needed to talk to her and the phone rings, hi, this is Deborah. I'm like, Deborah, okay. And I just unloaded on her, a full on, you know, Robert Klein neurotic rant, basically. I'm like, so I'm dating this girl, right? And she just, she wants to have sex with me all the time, but I, you know, and, and she, you know, and when she's not having sex with me, she's making me biscuits, but something, something is making me pull away. You know, I don't know why. I mean, what does that mean? Does that mean I'm gay? I mean, what does that, you know, and I just went on right, right. for about, you know, and maybe it's bad because my parents were divorced. I mean, is that why I'm pulling away? I mean, it would be the perfect relationship. Some guys would love her. She's a model. She's beautiful, you know, and she wants to have sex with me all the time. You know, what is this? Why do you know? <laughs> and I just went on and went off on every possible, I went to, you know, maybe it's the parents, maybe it's the this, maybe it's the that maybe and and finally there was a silence on the phone and the woman said john this is deborah foreman from the production office i i was just and what was great was now the entire crew knew my life you know so they were, they were like wow Divorced parents, that's tough, man. <laughs> you know, I had that too, you know? You got Grips crying with you at lunch, you know? One other thing. Now you know my life too, actually. <laughs> actually. <laughs> now you're producing another film. You seem to like doing this. You yeah, know. yeah, I, I, I enjoy it a lot. I, I, uh, do you audition the actors too? Do you do that part of it? I tr well, I try to, yeah, actually. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm anal about that. I really like, I'm a control freak. And the director of it was really cool about it. Um, he, he and I co-wrote co -wrote the movie. And, and and uh, so he let me read with all the actors, which was great fun. And this one guy came in, and he was fantastic. And we, um, we actually 
get, we couldn't give him the part that he auditioned for, but we gave him another part in right, the film. Right. And a couple of days later, uh, I ran into him on the street, and he said, you, you, man. And I was like, hey. And he said, you're the reason I got that part. And I was like, well, thanks. You know, I, I, I figured, you know, I, I wrote right. it, and I produced it, and I was there at the thing, you know. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. And he said, you, man, you are the best reader I have ever worked with. You know, <laughs> you, should, you should act. Man, you should act. And, um, mm -hmm. and, I, and I was like, well, th thank you, thank you. Um, you know, actually, I, I, I do have a part in the, in the, in the movie. And, and he goes, well, yeah, because they saw you read, you know? <laughs> and so it wasn't until actually the, the cast party that he realized that uh -huh. I was the, the star. You know, I'm beginning to understand why you need the therapist. Yes, <laughs> it's, all, no, it's so, all coming clear so now. So where did you shoot this? Where was this movie? This was, this was a movie actually called uh, uh, Went to Coney Island on a Mission from God, Be Back by Five. Uh, <laughs> and catchy title. Catchy title. <laughs> and, well, we meant to just take up the whole marquee at you the want Cineplex, to do that. Many, you know? Yeah. We just don't want anybody else to have any room, basically. Um, and and uh, so we shot it out on, on Coney Island, which yeah. is which is a, a, a scary... We shot it during the winter. Right. Um, during the summer, it's great fun, and it's, you know... Right. Uh, uh, irregular corn dogs for everyone, right, and, right. you know, it's... it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> just fun for the whole family but during the winter it's scary I mean like packs of wild dogs roam and, and you know and it, it, there's this weird eerie, this eerie sound that that goes through the whole park and uh, at one point Frank Whaley who's in the film uh, who is uh, a wonderful actor who was in right. JFK and uh, a lot of great movies uh, he uh, he was coming from the dressing room to the the, the set and uh, and he came upon a coyote eating a live chicken uh, <laughs> And he turned to the PA and said, what, what, what's a coyote doing in Coney Island? And, and the PA said, sir, I, I don't know what a chicken is doing in Coney Island. <laughs> and uh, so it was, it was a, a very exciting, exciting, fun place to be. Well, and, uh, and your show comes on when? Uh, my show, yeah, Getting Personal comes on. It's on now, actually, with some episodes that didn't get aired on the, our first season because we were a mid-season replacement. Well, good. Now, do you like um, rats? We have the rat lady coming. Yes, the rat lady. So you'll meet the rat lady. That's Thank the only you, reason John I'm Cryer. here. Really. Thank you, John. John Cryer. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Jenny Duke, a minute of performing rest.